this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own Twitch overlays using a tool called Canva. There is a free version of Canva, but there's also one that has pro features like specific items, backgrounds, elements that you can add. But either way, you can make a really cool looking intro, outro, ending screen, VRB screen with just a few simple tools here. So for example, my current one looks like this and it has a phone that scrolls through my social media. It also is a bit animated with music. So this is what my starting soon screen looks like. And then I have it play clips that I've recorded from my social media. I have also set up my BRB screen on here, my ending screen and all of this good stuff. So for my BRB screen, it has the similar thing with the phone showing the socials, the animated background, and then right here is where I put my clips um, that play automatically. And then I also have the ending screen, which is where this is where the credits roll, or if I'm going to be um, raiding, I put in a raid clip from the person that we are going to be raiding while I, while I do my outro. Now all of these are super simple to make and take barely any time at all using Canva um, as your tool. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Canva, when you first log in, you're going to get a screen that has like all of this stuff here because you'll be like a first time user. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead up, up into the search bar here and type in Twitch background. When you type in Twitch background, it's going to give you not only the correct size for your OBS or stream elements or whatever broadcast software you're using, but it's also going to suggest some different ones that you can customize. So for example, say we wanted to go ahead and customize this one. We would open it up and then you can see all the various elements that you can customize. So for this one, it has the starting soon come up and then it's got like a background here. You can customize each individual element just by clicking on it. So if you wanted to change starting soon or stream starting soon to like your name and stuff like that, you can absolutely do that. And then similar to many other graphic editors that I'm sure most of you have used, you can change pretty much any aspect from the font to the color, to the size, to the effects that you get, such as neon or shadow. You can also swap out your backgrounds by just going to elements and typing in, in the search bar, exactly what you're looking for. You can add things to it like your socials. So if you wanted to put like that, you have a Twitter on here, you would just click over a Twitter uh, logo, maybe shrink it down a bit because these do tend to come in pretty big, but then you can put your, your Twitter info here. You can put whatever you want on your starting soon screen. And then when you're ready to import it into OBS, what you'll do is simply go to the share button and you'll hit download. Now, if it is an animated one, make sure you're downloading it as an MP4. And if it has multiple parts, you want to make sure that you download it with the pages that are applicable to what you're working with. Now, if you wanted to keep everything in theme and you wanted to make your offline screen match, all you would need to do is duplicate this page, which you can do so by going down here and clicking on the three little dots and hitting duplicate page. And then if you wanted to change anything like this, perhaps maybe not be animated, you could turn this into a not animated feature, switch the wording to offline stream or stream is offline or whatever you want to put on here. Um, and then upload that as a PNG to Twitch. I hope this short video helps. If you guys have any comments or want to go more in depth into a, into a tutorial, <laughs> my goodness, I can't talk today. Uh, please let me know and put it in the comments below.